The iconic Boeing 747 has been given the majestic nickname Queen of the Skies. The aircraft first rolled out in 1968, and since then, millions of passengers have had the phenomenal opportunity to fly on the popular jumbo jet. While many have been retired, did you know that some of the first Boeing 747s are still in operation? Let's find out where. Between the Iranian Air Force and United States Air Force, the two groups operate the eight oldest Boeing 747s as per data from plane spotters. The oldest, Echo Papa Alpha Juliet Tango, was the fifth 747 to roll off the assembly line. At over 50 years old, it first flew for TWA as November 903101. This plane currently flies for Iran's Air Force. The next two oldest 747s also fly for Iran's Air Force and are about 49 years old. The US Air Force operates four special 747s that are 45 to 47 years old. These are called Boeing E-4Bs. These aircraft are part of the National Military Command System for the President, the Secretary of Defense, and the Joint Chiefs of Staff. These are incredibly special aircraft and can serve as an aerial command center in case of a national emergency where ground command and control centers are destroyed. The E-4Bs can provide leaders secure communications and control centers for executing wartime orders and coordinating actions with the military. This aircraft is based on the Boeing 747-200. Other older Boeing 747s operate as VIP aircraft. This includes transport for heads of state like the Sultan of Oman and the Saudi Arabian governments. Military and VIP aircraft operate fewer flight cycles, which means more downtime for maintenance. Boeing's Dreamlifter, the large cargo transporter, was made from converted Boeing 747-400s. The oldest of the Dreamlifters is just over 30 years old, November 249er Bravo Alpha. This Boeing 747 flew for China Airlines for about 15 years before Boeing took it over. The oldest Boeing 747 passenger jet flies for Mahan Air as Echo Papa Mike November Bravo. This aircraft is about 31 years old and flew first for United Airlines. The 747-400 spent some time on the ground before Mahan Air took it on in 2009. While Mahan Air kept the aircraft on the ground for some time, it came back into service in 2019 and has been flying since then. Mahan Air is an Iranian airline that, due to sanctions, is unable to acquire newer aircraft. As a result, it must operate old aircraft and keep them in good working order. The next oldest passenger Boeing 747 flies for Wamos Air, registration Echo Charlie Kilo X-Ray November. This jet is 26 years old. Air China operates two Boeing 747-400 jets that are 26 and 25 years old. One of the largest operators of the Boeing 747, British Airways, has some Boeing 747-400s that are over 22 years old. However, some of these are currently stored due to the ongoing crisis. It's unclear how many, or if any of these aircraft, will return to service. Older Boeing 747s are being phased out due to the current crisis. The aircraft has served for a venerable amount of time and will continue to fly in VIP and Air Force capacities. However, when it comes to passengers, the oldest 747s will likely see the end of their service line in the near future. Other older 747s not flying for VIP or government operators have been converted to freighters, which has extended their lifespan. Will you miss the older 747s? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the Simple Flying channel and be sure to click the notification bell.